Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the one sample tree test. So this is a part of the second video for the statistics chart wizard where in the earlier video I showed you the chi-square test about how to do this and now in this video I will going to explain the one sample t test. So if I go in tools, click on the chart, statistics chart wizard, you have one sample t test over here. So what does that mean? So one sample t-test, alternative we call it test of hypothesis for the mean. So whether it is chi-square test, one sample t-test or any other test which I will going in my going to explain in my future video, they are all based on hypothesis. And what we majorly do in this case, we look at the mean or the average of the value and try to find some conclusion. Conclusion like whether the mean is uh, significantly different from the observation uh, whether when it is two groups or whether it is a learning learning like here in this case the example i have given that in a class of 12 students the past record shows that no student has gone below got below 70 percent or grade b so that's the learning that we have from our previous encounters or previous results that nobody has gone beyond uh, or below to 70 percent then Based on the new data now that we have, on the recent assessment, the principal or the administration wants to know whether this assumption is still true because it may be the case that people or media is causing or questioning them that no, the credibility, the numbers have gone down and the, the school's uh, education is not that good as it used to be in the past. So to such questions, we need to take the help of the data, the sample that we have collected and by framing the hypothesis. So the hypothesis is that our credibility has not gone down. That's our null hypothesis. And our alternative hypothesis is that yes, our credibility has gone down by looking at the sample of this data. So these are the two things, uh, two questions that we need to frame and test it with the help of our one sample t-test. Now one sample t-test or any test, t-test is can be of two types. The first one is uh, your a one tail test that means you want to test either on the positive or on the negative side here we are seeing on the left tail or the negative side that we have gone down and uh, another one is uh, uh, the two tail test that means you want to test it on the both both the sides uh, and you want to figure it out that whether the value t test value is coming uh, within that range so i know it's a little difficult to get but uh, we will going to utilize a table uh, that we have for the t-test and that will help us driving the uh, this conversation. So first thing is to do the test. So let's go into the tool and statistics chart wizard and then select the one sample test and click next. What I have mentioned uh, already over here is marks one is the field we want to test and test value against which we want to test is 70 right that's the one 70 percent is what we want to test and we want to show t value df and p value or significantly two tail value so that these are the different uh, couple of parameters that we want to show in the table and then we want to test it at 95 degree confidence level so whatever outcome that may be whether we accept the null hypothesis that uh, we are still on the 70 percent or more and or it is uh, alternative hypothesis that we have gone be, uh, below to 70 percent we will tell that at a 95 percent degree confidence level that and there we can we need to openly say that there is a five percent chance but at least major portion that means 95 percent uh, whatever may be the outcome is is true so let's click on the finish and let's get this value so T test is basically saying minus 2.356 at 11 degrees of freedom. So 11 degrees of freedom is nothing but your number of observations. And with the help of these two values, we will go and look at the T table. So this T table can be found very easily on, on your Google. Once you search it, that uh, T table PDF or something, then Google will give you the result and you can download it. It's freely available. So that helps us looking at the degree of freedom, which is 11. And we have done the one tail test. So one tail test has 0.05 or 95 degree confidence level. 
So if I go here, the value is 1.796. So since we are doing left tail test or we want to look at the negative side, uh, we will say that minus 1.796 is our threshold. That means if any value is going below to minus 1.796, then in that case, we will going to reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that we are still on 70% or more. So at 11 degrees of freedom, 1.796 on the negative side, the value that we have got is 2.356, which is below to minus 1.796. In that case, we will going to reject the null hypothesis and we will conclude that our credibility of uh, class 12 student, the number of marks that they used to get has gone down significantly below to 70%. So with this help of uh, test value and degree of freedom, you will figure it out the, the, uh, the t-score and then do the conclusion. So that's about it if so currently we have seen minus 1.796 because that was a left tail test and uh, if it is something like uh, we the, we wanted to test another way which is we wanted to test whether we have gone beyond 70 percent then it would be right tail and in that case we would have seen the plus 1.796 so these are some of the statistical concepts that probably you may need to see and uh, look at what is left tail testing, right tail testing, or both tail testing. And then uh, come back and maybe you can understand this test. But this is predominantly for, this video is predominantly for those persons who is really, uh, who, is, who really understand the statistic and uh, looking at the way within the click view to see how they can configure and do the testing. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.